Hey everybody, Vampire1444 here again and today I'm going to continue with my movie collection and I'm going to start on the DVDs now so I don't know how many I'm going to do, probably about three racks at a time because there's quite a few but uh, yep so we'll start, I, I won't talk about all of them because like I said there's loads of them but uh, Let's get on with it. So first of all here we have the five horror movie collection Curfew, Axe, uh, Bachelor Party, Massacre and Pieces and Sickle of which Pieces is the best uh, Bachelor Party Massacre is absolutely terrible. Next we have the 12 movie collection which contains the first nine Puppet Master films and three Killjoy films. Next we have 13 Eerie which is not a bad zombie film. Uh, Seven Days which is okay. We have 30 Days of Night and this contains the, the little comic in there which I like it. I think it's a a really decent film. Next we have 30 Days a Night, Dark Days, not very good. Two th God, look at the glare. Sorry about the glare. Uh, 2001 Maniacs, 20 Million Miles to Earth, Apartment 143, Amsterdam, fantastic film, really love it. Apparition, which is a little mini series from the BBC, Supernatural series, which I like, really good. Anatomy, fantastic. Anatomy 2. The Abandoned. Axe Giant, let down by the CGI, CGI is not that good. Attack the Block. The Abominable Dr. Fibes, Among the Living, The Attic, Alien vs. Predator, and Alien vs. Predator 2. I've got the Blu ray downstairs, An American Haunting, Alone in the Dark. Uh, Attack of the Werewolves, not a bad Spanish werewolf film, uh, really quite good. The original Amityville Horror, Amityville 2, Amityville 3, uh, these are probably the best of the collection. Next we have another zombie film called Autumn. The 21st Anniversary Special Edition of American Wealth in London, absolutely fantastic film. American Wealth in Paris, not as good. American Gothic, a really decent series. Alice Sweet Alice, really good. Apocalypse of the Dead, low budget. April Fool's Day, really good. Uh, Bastard. Not a bad film. Beyond the Gates, really like that one. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. The Bella Lugosi Horror Collection with White Zombie, Barry at Midnight, Invisible Ghost, Spooks from the Wild, Devil Bar, Corpse Vanishes, The Ape Man, and Bella Lugosi meets the Brooklyn Gorilla. Blood of the Vampire. Byzantium, um, Blood Glacier, Blood Beach. Oh, I don't know why this is. Yeah, this is under should be under C. The Coffin Joe collection. B below, really good ghost air uh, film, which you don't really hear much about. 
Boy Eats Girl, Zombie Comedy, and Brotherhood of the Wolf. Really, I really love this film. The Breed. And Bloody Homecoming. I didn't like this when I first watched it. But when I went back to it, it kind of grew on us a bit. And we'll head down here. Where we have the Blood Drinkers, which is terrible. Same with Brides of Blood. Blood the Last Vampire animated, which is really good. Uh, Brain of Blood, which is terrible. Boo, which is good. Nice little ghost story. Uh, Blood Widow, which is a decent slasher. The Bone Snatcher. Biohazardous. Absolutely fantastic. Brain Dead. Blackwater Vampire. Not as good as I was hoping. Before Dawn, very slow, but an okay film. And Baba Yaga, uh, the final cut, bit of a weird one. Uh, the original Blair Witch and Blair Witch 2. Black Death. The Boogeyman. Uh, Beyond the Rave, which is a Hammer film. Um, I think it was done as a web series, so each episode's only about 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes long, something like that. Blade 1 to 3, the region 1 release of The Burning, Blood Knight, The Legend of Mary Hatchard, I like this film, Behemoth the Sea Monster, The Brides of Fu Manchu. The Blob, this is the remake and the best. Bloodsuckers. Blood Runs Cold, which was an okay slasher. And Bride of Chucky. Like Cherry Falls. Cemetery Gate. Camp Dread, which wasn't too bad. Cast in the Ruins, which is absolutely terrible. Cannibal Terror, which is terrible. And uh, the DVD of the church. Uh, collector's edition of Candyman and Candyman 2. Class of Nukem Pie. Carnival of Souls, which is a great film. Club Dread, a comedy slasher. Uh, Count Dracula which is probably the best version of Dracula I've seen with Louis Jordan. Club Vampire, not that good. Claws, it was okay. M.R. James Classic Ghost Stories. Yeah, the original Carrie, Carrie 2. The Changeling, which is really, really good. The Curse of Chucky. Uh, Cry the Banshee, which I really like. C Creep. The Cottage, which is so much fun. If you haven't seen it, you should get it, because it's a really good film. The Creeping Flesh. Let's uh, just make it... But it to make it easier. We have the two disc special edition of Creepshow. Creepshow 2, which is okay, and Creepshow 3, which is not. Cabin Fever, brilliant. The remake is absolutely terrible. Cabin Fever 2, which is okay. And I didn't think much of part 3. Children of the Living Dead, which is the very first DVD I ever bought, and it's terrible. Uh, the Critters Collection, 1 to 4. Uh, Constantine. Code Red, which was okay. Chopping Mall, I really want the Blu-ray of this. The Cave. 
Crimea, which was a BBC, I think BBC TV series back in the late 80s, early 90s. Chernobyl Diaries, which is quite good. Cursed, which isn't. Uh, the Convent, which I really like. The original Crazies goes on a little bit too long. Uh, the remake, which I liked. Uh, children shouldn't play with dead things and dead of night. Um, wasn't keen on dead of night, but children should play shouldn't play with dead things is really good. Although the music's a bit weird. Clown Town really enjoyed this one. Slasher film. Cool Prey one and two, absolutely fantastic films from Norway. This is the special edition of Cronus, really good vampire film. Not what you expect for vampires, but uh, really, really good. The Cat Girl, Cyrus, The Mind of a Serial Killer, Cannibal Apocalypse, uh, Deep Rising, which I really like, really fun film. Devil May Cry, animated, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, the remake, would really like to get the original. The Devil Inside, which I didn't think much of. Drag Me to Hell, which is really good, need to upgrade this. Uh, the Dresden Files, which TV series, which was okay. Deathline, which has got a Blu-ray release, which I'm going to have to upgrade to. Dog House, which is so much fun, really good film. Don't Knock Twice, which was okay. Death by Temptation, Samuel and Jackson, really not a good film. Dark Angel The Ascent, which I like, it's by um, Full Moon. But unfortunately, this is not the cover that I wanted, or the cover that was advertised, which I was disappointed in. Uh, we have D Dead and Buried, which is awesome. We have Doom. You have the remake of Dawn of the Dead, which I quite like. It's not a bad film. The original Dawn of the Dead, absolutely fantastic. The original Day of the Dead, again, fantastic. The Day of the Dead 2, Contagonum, which is terrible. And Day of the Dead, the remake, which is, again, terrible. Doom Watch, uh, The Dead of Night, which is really good, anthology of films, The, the Devil and Me, which was okay, Dark Waters, which was okay, Doom Torture Duckland, which I really enjoyed, and Delamore did Delamore with Cemetery Man, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's part w one of me DVDs, uh, which, like I say, is all all these. And next up will be part two, which will be these. And then we will go to part three, which will be them. Part four will probably be the the last ones. Then after that, it'll be me Hammer Collection, me Universal and Asian films. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, thanks for taking the time. And I will see you in the next video. So, bye-bye.